Hello everyone and welcome on the Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some mistletoe. I've painted already a mistletoe this year uh, on uh, live on my uh, French channel and if you want to check it out I will uh, put the link in the description but beware it's all in French I'm sorry I cannot uh, make a, a translation of uh, my live in uh, in English it's a little bit too much work for me uh, but I wanted to uh, paint uh, this subject another uh, time again uh, because I, I feel it was very uh, interesting subject and I wanted to have another go at it. And as you can see I'm uh, starting uh, my painting with uh, some weird blue spots on my paper and these blue spots are just uh, tape uh, and I'm using tape to uh, mask a certain area of this painting where I want to have uh, the berries from uh, the mistletoe appearing uh, really white on my paper. Uh, it's quite an easy technique uh, to uh, mask with uh, because it's easy to uh, to uh, put uh, on the paper. It's easy to cut out and it's really easy to to take off. And on top of uh, this uh, masked area, I'm adding a lot of uh, tones of blue and greens on my paper. I'm using indigo, I'm using uh, manganese blue, uh, Prussian blue, uh, a little bit of nickel azo yellow and uh, a little bit also of uh, Amazonite genuine. Uh, and all this uh, color mixed together make a really interesting cameo of uh, blue and greens on the paper and it will give uh, um, a certain feeling of uh, cold in this painting and that's just what I want uh, for this one. My paper is almost entirely wet, uh, but I uh, protect uh, from painting some area also uh, with just uh, painting around them uh, with my brush. And I wanted to do that in order to have uh, another type of uh, white on my paper, a little bit more natural than uh, the, the tape. Uh, and I just wanted to have this um, to add a little bit of contrast to add a little bit of natural in the, this painting. And once I'm okay with my first layer, I will let it dry totally before starting the second layer. I'm starting uh, my second layer by uh, painting some uh, branches and some leaves in the mistletoe. Uh, it uh, helps me to uh, know a little bit uh, what uh, my composition will be at the end and also uh, if something is missing at this stage, uh, I can still add it uh, a little bit better, but I need to have uh, this uh, feeling of uh, first branches and leaves into it uh, in order to see where I'm going. And for the colors, I'm using mostly uh, Amazonite Genuine, Nickel as a Yellow and Indigo. And I try to uh, tweak uh, the color a little bit each time I go back uh, to my palette to pick up color in order to have uh, really uh, different colors in the foliage and in the branches uh, so that it will appear a little bit more natural. And for the foliage, I'm using a dagger brush uh, uh, and it's uh, really uh, the best brush for this work because I can just paint one leaf with uh, one swoop of my brush. Uh, it's uh, really useful and I can get a really natural looking uh, leaves uh, with that brush. At this stage, I'm fairly happy with what's going on on my paper, but I, I feel that uh, I lack of darker color in this painting. Uh, everything is a little, a little bit too uh, light and I will add a lot of water and color in this second layer and I will almost erase all my work in the first part of the second layer. But um, you will see that you will be able to uh, have a feel of uh, these leaves and branches I've painted, uh, even though I'm blurring them out. Uh, I'm adding a lot of color on top of it, uh, but it will help me to get more definition and depth into uh, the painting. 
I'm adding uh, in the background a lot of indigo and Prussian blue uh, because I want darker color but I also want uh, some uh, cooler colors in order to have this uh, feeling of winter into, uh, into the painting. Even though I'm, I feel like I'm erasing my first work, I really like to uh, work in this uh, uh, manner because uh, I think it adds some depth uh, and interest into the painting. Uh, and even though uh, the leaves are really, really blurry, they are still there. Uh, they are uh, present on the paper and uh, you will be able to see uh, their shape a little bit. Uh, it adds really uh, a nice density uh, to, to the painting. And now that I'm happy with this second layer, I will let it dry totally before adding some more details into it and I will talk you through my supplies. For the brushes, I'm using an Escoda Ultimo number 18. Uh, Raphael Petit Gris 903 number 12 and a silver brush Palak Velvet 1 quarter inch in the dagger shape. For the colors I'm using Manganese Blue, Amazonite Genuine, Nickel as a Yellow, Indigo and a Prussian Blue. And today my paper is from Archies in Rough. Now that my second layer is totally dry, I can see that uh, this uh, decision to uh, add some darker color into it was the right one because my painting is uh, more interesting right now. Uh, and I need to work again all the branches and leaves in the mistletoe. And for that, I'm adding uh, some uh, branches and leaves with indigo uh, and a little bit of nickel as a yellow. And I will tweak the color again uh, with a little bit more uh, nickel as a yellow or a little bit more Amazonite Genuine into it in order to change the color and make it a little bit uh, natural. I really like the fact that there is uh, blue uh, leaves and uh, more yellow leaves into it because it gives a feel of uh, depth into uh, the painting and uh, so you can imagine that uh, some leaves are in the shadow and others are in the sunlight so uh, it helps uh, giving a feeling to the painting too. And just because uh, the berries were masked with uh, some tape, they are really, really white. And I just want to add a little bit of color to them uh, in order to give a little bit more natural into them and uh, work a little bit of uh, dimension uh, to, to, the, to the berries of mistletoe. Uh, I want uh, to have some um, shadows in them. Uh, so I really work them with a really, really light uh, wash of green. And the last thing I want to do is to create another uh, layer of uh, mistletoe in the background by removing some of uh, the color. And for that, it's better to use uh, a stiff brush, but with uh, s um, really soft hair. Uh, I'm using a brush that is made for acrylic, for example. Uh, and I add just some water into the paper. I brush the paper really softly in order to not break the fiber into it and it will remove uh, some color of it. You will never be able to uh, get the white of the paper this way, uh, but uh, you can have some lighter color uh, into it. This technique doesn't work with all the colors. Uh, you have to be very careful with, with the color you are using uh, because uh, some of the color and especially the blues are uh, tinting the paper and you are not be able to remove any color of it. But right now with the color I've, I'm use, I've used, uh, it's uh, working quite nicely. And you can see all the other berry appears into uh, the paper. And it gives a really nice uh, depth effect uh, into this painting. And I think it was also a, a really good choice. These new berries are uh, really blurry and uh, you can feel that they are in the background. And it's really interesting that way. 
And this video is now ending. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Please check the blog post for more information about it. The link is in the description just below and tell me what you think in the comments. See you soon.